guys, um, this is the My First Time Tag video, just a bunch of my firsts of things. Yeah, I thought it would be fun, so let's get started. My first word was bowl. Apparently, one evening, I was sitting in my high chair eating dinner while Mama was out, and Mum was helping Leo in the bath. She came back into the room to find myself, the floor, and the walls splattered with pumpkin soup. It was absolutely everywhere, and she stared in horror as all I did was giggle and say the word bowl again and again. When Mama got home, she was a little annoyed that Mum hadn't taken any photos documenting this, though I think Mum was a little bit more concerned about the mess. My first pet was a little rabbit. Um, she was adorable and I called her Cottontail after the Beatrix Potter story. She was white and fluffy and so very very soft that I used to rub my face into her fur. I wanted to keep her inside the house as a house rabbit, but unfortunately Leo's allergic to bunnies, poor thing. Okay, so I talked to Leo and it turns out that that's not true. My parents just didn't want me keeping a rabbit in the house. Thanks mum and mama, I've been living a lie. Also, turns out that house rabbits are a little uncommon. My first best friend. Well, I had two. One of them was the lovely Beatrice, of course, but that was long before she moved up here to Auckland, so we'd only see each other very occasionally. Whenever we did, it was lovely. We're absolutely inseparable. The other was a lovely little girl from kindergarten. Her name was Rosalind. We were about four years old, and I was really poorly when I was younger because I was born premature with a lung condition, which I still have now, but it's completely under control, and I'm totally fine. It's, it's a lot worse in children. My parents didn't think I was going to make it, but... I did, hence the name Hero. So yeah, I was really small for my age, and Rosalind was about six months older than me and quite big for her age, so she used to like to pretend that I was her child and carry me around on her hip, and it was very, very cute. She moved to Italy when we were in primary school, and I was very sad to see her go. But if you're watching this, Rosalind, um, hello. <laughs> my first kiss. It's pretty scandalous. Um, I was eight years old and there was this boy that I had a big crush on at primary school who got me a flower from the field and gave it to me and it was very very cute and then I kissed him on the cheek and then we got married. It was a small, very tasteful ceremony with only close friends. Um, yeah, technically we never got a divorce, so does that mean we're still together? Maybe I should talk to Claudio about this. My first impression of Claudio. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm honest, it was really nothing. I wish I could say it was all poetic and romantic and we locked eyes across a crowded room and instantly knew that we loved each other, but alas. We met in about year nine, well, when we started at Messina, so we would have been about 12 or 13 years old. And yeah, I don't know, we just didn't notice each other. We hung out with different people and had different classes. But then last year we were in maths together and this one time he was walking past my desk, or I say past my desk, he walked into my desk and just knocked everything off it. So books went flying, there were paper and pencils everywhere. It was utter mayhem. But yes, he got very apologetic and very embarrassed. It was, it was endearing and well, I noticed how cute he is. Um, yeah, and then, well, he got onto the football team and he came over to the house to talk to Leo as the team's over here a lot, but maybe a little bit more than was entirely necessary. Okay, and one last first for you guys. Um, my first love. I don't really have to explain that, do I? So there you have it. That's my first time tag. And if any of you guys want to make a video answering the same questions, you can leave it as a response to this one and I'll watch it just so I can get to know you guys a bit better. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, so goodbye everyone!